What's good, everybody? It's your boy, the Black James Bond. If the video didn't get blocked, then this is a two-part series. I drop two videos a day, unless YouTube blocks it, then just one. All right? On my off days, I try to drop three a day because I had a little bit more time. Okay, But whichever order this one drops in, first or second, there is an original version to this. Richmond, North of Richmond, which is a clever wordplay, and the message clearly makes sense. It's by Oliver Anthony, right? I already reacted to that. If you ever seen it already, check it out somewhere, okay? It's here, all right? It's 100% of a point. I respect the message. I respect the boldness and to be the, 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 he's not the first person, person to say it, okay? But this, I just feel like it was, it was approached way differently, a lot more bold, um, and I respect it. Dax made a remix. If you don't know Dax, wordplay is insane. So I know he's going to come with a message. And then it's not even that Oliver Anthony was speaking from a white perspective. He was speaking from a human perspective. So it's going to be interesting to hear what Dak's approach on it is. Because it wasn't about black or white. It was merely about humanity. And um, I feel like he's going to speak from a different experience. So let's hear it. It's a damn shame what the world's gotten to. People like me. Oh, he. People. Oh, you know this shit about to go crazy. He sampled the jump. That's how the hook goes. Like you, wish I could just wake up and it not be true. But it is. All it is. Living in the new world. With a whole soul. Uh -huh. the rich men know the rich men. Lord knows it all just one. And then, of course, you gotta fit into the environment. Cause he got he got the what's name that little flannel jump with the uh with the uh the sheepskin inside. I'm sure it's high key comfortable as well. It's crazy. Is that Canadian? I don't know him that well. I don't study him that well. But um. Total control. This world has changed, and I had to accept it. They ask my political views while I search for their hidden agendas. I don't got an answer, I try to remember the devil divides Pressure appears from our peers Those arguments waste our time While helping to push their lies So fuck political views He has a little bit more of a country voice with this He's kind of putting a country swing Playing on, 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 on his approach, on his delivery Not the biggest fan of it I get he's trying to um, When in Rome you do what the Romans do um, Not sure that's how he naturally talks I don't know, I've never heard him actually speak so I could be completely wrong and just not know how he speaks. And this is actually his dialect. And when he raps, you know, it's kind of like <laughs> everybody's original voice is not always how they deliver in, in music. T Grizzly, nigga talks how he raps. Makes no fucking sense. All right, Drake doesn't talk in his natural voice how he raps. Right, to each his own. I just don't know if that's how he speaks naturally. Let's go back. I don't got an answer. I try to remember the devil divides. Pressure appears from our peers. Those arguments waste our time while helping to push their lies. So fuck political views. I got common sense. I know God made man. And the sun sets on a life where we focus on things that we cannot control and accumulate so much regret. By the time we decide to live, we're practically already dead. So I go to sleep no. with the thoughts of 45 years. No facts, bro. They want you to work, work until you 60, and then you can go retire in Florida. It's not that you're dead at 60. 60, you still got life. But you are not the same person you could be the experiences that you could also do. Like, you're not. Like, I get it with the age comes wiseness and all that. Save the political crap. Save the fucking, save it, Okay. You, my body right now is not going to be the same body I got at 60. My body can't do what I, what I do, what I, my cat, my body at 60 won't be able to do what your body does now. Okay. Like it just, it's not possible. Like if you want to go backpacking through Asia, you got to do it now. You can't do it when you're 85. I get it. There's always that one person, man from the Himalayas goes backpacking. Okay. Congrats to him. But that's not the mass majority. It's reality, though. Like, they want you to work till you're 60, retire at 60, and then you can chill. Oh, congrats. Thank you. 
a life where we focus on things that we cannot control and accumulate so much regret by the time we decide to live we're practically already dead so i go to sleep with the thoughts of 45 years living in debt 45 years can't pay rent 45 years just for a pension i'm too old to enjoy and go spend 45 years working and slaving for rich men with no time for my family and friends then i wake up and pray that it ends not lying. With an old soul, the rich man knows the rich man. Lord knows they all just want to have total control. Descendants of Adam and Eve, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. They're taking God out the schools. Our kids don't know what to believe. From 6 to 18, the curriculum fails and Gen Z gets taught by their phones with force feeds that get sponsored and paid by companies. That's Ooh, how they attack us. He's not lying, bro. He's not lying. In Japan, they don't have the same fucking trending feed that we got on TikTok. They know what the pump into you. That's why I turn all my fucking demographic and targeted ads and my fucking all that bullshit off. I turn all that tracking shit off. Because why? Okay? Look. These These rings, if you see me outside, if I'm outside, I'm wearing these rings, right? These rings, right? No bullshit story. I'm in my room. This is before I figured out this shit, okay? I'm in my room, sitting there to myself. I was like, you know, I want a pair of rings. Not bullshitting you. I opened Instagram, and I found an ad, and it had these exact rings. If it does not target you specifically based on what you want, I think every Friday, all the eBay shit, we now got 50% off. We now got this. We now got this. Fashion over though some shit go down. We now got this. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Like, they know how to target attention. And it's facts, though. It's facts, though. Like, there was a thing about it on uh, Netflix. Um, about social media. Like, certain social media things will give you notifications when it knows that your retention is going down. That's why Twitter, when you refresh Twitter, you'll never see the same thing twice. You go refresh that bitch all day. They don't want you to see the same thing twice because then you'll know your redundancy of it. It's like when you go to the restaurant, one restaurant every single day, right? And then one day you walk in and the bartender got your drink already as soon as you sit down. How many times have I been here that I've seen the same shit? That you've seen the same shit? It's facts, though. Sorry going on a long ass rant, y'all. Did that talk too much? Question mark? Okay, your name. Oh, wait. And up your... From 6 to 18, the curriculum fails and Gen Z gets taught by their phones with forced feeds that get sponsored and paid by companies. Oh, for example, about that kid's shit, uh, Momo, Momo. I didn't see not one Momo ad on mine, right? But it was targeted to kids' phones. Like the retention of like, uh, based on the YouTube history, algorithm, certain things like that, that it obviously indicates that whoever's watching is a child. And that Momo shit was telling them dark ass shit to do. What type of shit y'all want? And y'all should be sued to the end of the earth. I don't care. That is your platform. You chose to clear this advertisement. You chose to allow that to cross your platform. You allowed it. You only stopped because you got called out. Like, stop, bro. Like, stop. I hate when these companies be playing so fucking, oh, I didn't know what happened. The fuck up. Needs. That's how they attack us. It starts with the youth. If you lie enough, you'll convince anybody the lies, the truth. So telling these kids they can choose their own gender at ages they can't even tie their own shoes. Drive or drink is crazy. Uh, Comment. Look, I look, look. That is a topic that if it don't relate to you, to stay out of. Next, all right. That's a topic to if it don't relate, you stay out of. How right, you want to sit here and tell somebody how they feel? That is not your place. That's not your business. If it don't concern you, you keep pushing. All right. Because guess what? One, uh, do you just click one day that you just know? How are you going to click one day that somebody else know? All right. Like, come on. All right, bro. Got to discourage you that. Stay in your place. I rightfully do because that's not my place. That is not a topic. That is my business. All right. That's not my business. Like it's not that I, yeah, it's not my lack of care because it doesn't relate to me. It's that I don't understand that experience, so I'm not about to comment on it and tell somebody their perspective on it. All right, who the fuck decided we was democratic? Like, don't, don't, don't get into topics that ain't got shit to do with you.
These kids, they can choose their own charts with the youth. If you lie enough, you'll convince anybody the lies, the truth. So telling these kids they can choose their own gender at ages they can't even tie their own shoes. Drive or drink is crazy. Common sense isn't common unless it pays me. That's the thought process daily. Look at the content. We're creating lies, diluting our brains. I'm done trying to argue online with these people who think that a vote's gonna bring about change. How many Facts. presidents does it take to have a... Facts, bro. Facts, bro. The presidency is not... Bro... Why do y'all think all these fucking homeless outreach programs? They are still running. If they, if they, if they, tr not cured homelessness, but if they ended homelessness, all these programs getting all this government funding to get the people in charge of the programs who drive them fucking Bentleys and live in these fucking 52 room mansions and shit, they wouldn't be able to get their money no more. Of course, they're not going to end homelessness. That means they'd be out of a job. Life worth living. An actual comfortable wage, no more school shootings. Let's unite these states. It's a damn shame what the world's gotten to for people like me, for people like you. Wish I could just, just wake up and it not be true, but it is. All it is, living in the new world with an old soul. Rich men knows the rich men, Lord knows they all just want to have total control. That's facts out, bro. 100% facts. It'd be nice if they show like them two, like greeting up and shaking hands. It's 100% true. Sorry going as long as rent. But songs like this are so true, they're so needed. But I also hate that these songs always happen during an election. It's not that it was calculated by either of them. But these songs always happen during an election. Like, the fuck is in the air? All right. Can we talk about this? Stuff? Can we get this, like, this rhetoric open on a fucking Tuesday? And not just because some dickhead we don't want in the house uh, running the whole world who's going to fuck it up anyway is all of a sudden about to get there? Look. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all like the original or you like the remix better? What is your perspective on it? It's your boy, the Black James Bond. I will catch you on the next video. Tell me what you would like to see from this channel. We are out.